this job that a young adult or teenagers who have a big ambitions, but sometimes uh, they tend to do something unmeaningful to get more followers or get more friends. So what is the best method to teach them as a group in order to uh, in order to make them uh, lower their ambitions so that they what can do to inappropriate actions? Mm, that's big. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Um, there's a lot of studies being done right now. Some completed, some still. It's a, it's a phenomenon that people are studying. Because we have to figure out why. Right? The idea of why they need followers, or why they need approval, why they need this type of thing. If you can figure out why, then you can figure out the solution. Because the form is just the form. The why is where you, you have to solve. So if people understand, so, so there are different categories of people. People who understand that social media is a tool and your numbers is basically an economic tool, they're easier to deal with. Their emotions are not attached to it. Their self-esteem is not attached to it. Their sense of value is not attached to it. They're just recognizing it's just simple. It's a simple thing. It's mathematical. More numbers means more sponsors, more viewers, stuff like that. I can translate views directly into money. Right? The more views I have, I can trend, that can make, make money. That is how I make money. Once they understand it's just a tool, that's it then they can figure out because they're more logical about it. So the things that have to do with value, if something is against my values, moral values, because the source of my moral value and what drives what I do and not do is not this tool, then they won't do anything that cross their values. Right? So they won't do inappropriate things, things that are morally inappropriate. So they'll just try to figure out. It becomes a thing where it is competition. So the person doing the inappropriate thing is, is, is in direct competition with me. They're going to get views to go up because they're doing inappropriate things. So now it's just a matter of me figuring out how to compete with that person without doing inappropriate things. So those are easy to deal with. And the problem you have to, you're going to get is with those who their attachment to this thing is emotional. It has to do with self-esteem. The more likes I get represents not an economic tool, right? Doesn't mean money, like the other person. Views means I'm loved. More likes means actually like. They believe that the more like buttons means the more I am loved by these people. If I don't have a certain like or somebody takes back their like, what that means is I am less likable as a human being. I'm less like, I don't have the approval of as many people. I don't have the love of many people. I'm not appreciated by many people. And therefore I value less as a human being. Those kind of people, you got to figure that out. And then you got to work with them to change their the concept of valuation. Like you're not valued by these type of things. You have, so it's a lot of internal work. Sometimes they might even need therapy. But you got to figure that out. Why are they doing it? Now, how do you stop young children from getting into that? Is you got to, from young, start to teach them a different way of valuing themselves. Even if you need to bring up that directly, like just direct, as in, in parenting, directly put it in their minds and their heads that the likes and the views do not equal love and appreciation. These things are fake, right? Most people are there. The internet are not the place. These are not people who actually love you. 
Let them understand what love is, right? And then let them know, show them how the love they get from the internet isn't real love. For example, somebody who loves you is somebody who will take care of you, somebody who will think, somebody who will listen to you, somebody who will solve your problem, somebody who will give you money when you need, somebody who will take you to the hospital. None of the people that like your stuff on the internet will do any of that. So if this is what represents love and these won't do it, then that like button doesn't mean they love you, right? Show them how the internet fans can switch. People are fickle. They, today you can be the, like, the most beloved thing to them. Tomorrow, everybody can be hating on you. Well, then that was not real. None of it is real. The hate nor the love. These are just social interactions. They're just clicks. Even when people show hate on the internet, most of them don't even hate you. Right? It's just the hype. Showing hate to this individual is what's trending right now. People just type it. They don't really even mean it. But it also goes the opposite. When they show love, they don't even mean that. So that kind of thing, you gotta, you gotta get into that. If it's driven by like fame, right? One of the things we have right now is that people are addicted to the idea of fame. So you gotta figure out how to get that out of their minds. One of the easiest ways that, let, first of all, the people don't know what fame is. What they're really attracted to is glamour, not fame. But because glamour is usually associated with fame, people want fame. Well, how do I get famous if I'm not a TV star? And thing? Well, I have this tool, right? Instagram, so I can quickly become an Instagram famous person. And then from that, you can move up. YouTube famous, and then you can become whatever, right? So this idea of fame, probably you got to address that. A lot of young people got to address that. Why? And maybe it's not what you think it is. There's a lot of videos now being made by famous people showing for young people to let them know that fame is not what you think it is. It's a lonely life, right? Sad, no privacy. You can't do anything. You can, if you're here in Malaysia, you wanna run out and just buy a bottle of water, you can. If you're famous, you can't. So just let them see that, look, famous people don't like being famous, a lot of them. And um, the glamour, how do you deal with the glamour thing? Again, there's a lot of people, rich people who are now telling other people about the experience of being unhappy but rich. Like you have all of these things, but I'm not happy, right? So the glamour doesn't really bring happiness either. So once you can have these concepts clarified to very young children, then they might not suffer from these ideas. There are some documentaries out there. There's a documentary called Generation Like. That is good. Generation Like was made by the same people who made Merchants of Cool. Merchants of Cool was a documentary they did on TV culture where people sell what is cool to young people and there's this constant marketing of coolness to young people and then they did that one on the internet it's called Generation Like um, one famous actor did a documentary on being famous where he's interviewing young people who want to be famous and the things they do to get famous and he's trying to explore the phenomenon of why is it that people like fame you can look certain, certain you know, there are a lot of things like, there are a lot of resources out there now on that. Celebrity culture, why people like celebrity culture, what's the attraction to it? What are some of the harms of it? So once you can expose young people to those ideas, then you reduce the inclination because a lot of it's just a confusion of young people of what, what these things are. And at the same time, educate them on it as a tool. Because these are tools. They don't have to use it, but they need to understand that it's also a, a tool that could be used to make money and stuff like that. The reason I'm saying doing that is because religious people sometimes come off too hard and they come off in a way like, we want you to be anti everything. You know, like, oh, no, this is haram. If you, use, you know, being Instagram, you go to hell. 
that doesn't work. Because now all they see is a disconnect between religion and just most of life. But if you can let them understand that, look, this is like a car, right? You use it to get from here to there. It's a tool. Instagram could be a tool. The amount of views you have could translate into money. So don't let them think, oh, you're just religiously against it. It's just no, it's use it has to be. You need to understand what it is you're dealing with. So you don't think it's more than what it is. And then once you understand what it is, then you're now free to like use it in that purpose or not use it at all. But you understand that it's a tool for a specific thing. I mean, that's the best. I don't know. You have to have experts. There are experts studying it. They can be more useful into like how to help young people. Yeah, yeah.